Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Bilal Abdullah Sheikh and I'm an year two resident FCPS ophthalmology. I've passed my ICO, ICO Visual Sciences examination in October 2020 and this video is all about ICO Visual Sciences. Uh, I'll try to help you with whatever you're confused with and uh, hopefully this video will solve all your queries regarding the exam. Uh, to know what ICO is, International Council of Ophthalmology is a center of examination which has got a few exams and the best part is that people who want to appear for, who want to become an FRCS, uh, this route is really good for them. So ICU has uh, part A visual sciences, then they have part B optics and refraction. Uh, then they have clinical sciences examination after which you are awarded the MRCS Edinburgh certificate and you have to go for advanced clinical examination and then your final viva before you become an FRCS. So uh, this probably might not be a very 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 short route but it is a doable and an easy route for everybody who is appearing for FRCS ophthalmology who want to become an FRCS. So ICU happens twice a year, once in April, once in October. The distribution of the exam is anatomy, uh, 20 questions, neuroanatomy, 15 questions. Then you have 20 questions which has got physiology of vision, biochemistry, molecular biology. Uh, the, the whole section comprises of 20 questions. Then we have pharma, pharmacology and pathology 10 each, embryology and uh, epidemiology 5 each. So, uh, you know, the total becomes 120. Microbiology and genetics 10 each, uh, so it becomes 120. Uh, and you have got 180 minutes for it. Uh, you have got sufficient time, that's more than enough. Uh, if, you're, if you're well prepared, you won't have any shortage of time, you won't fall short. The best part is uh, if you want to postpone the exam, um, unfortunately or due to some unavoidable circumstances, you can even before a week before the exam. So that's a good option that they've given. One question that I always come across is how much preparation time do we need? Uh, in all honesty, there is no fixed answer to it. Uh, on average it's six months because but if you're good with your basics and uh, if uh, you are used to going through a basics in a GIF then you can prepare it in, in a two months or three months time another question that I come across is hours a day how many hours uh, we should give uh, it all depends on you if you're a two hour a day person don't schedule or book your exam anytime within three months give yourself time uh, slow and steady wins the race if you're a six or eight hour a day person i'm glad if you're giving six to eight hours even with the training you're a, you're a genius you're a champion uh, so if, if if you can give six hours or eight hours a day then you can book your exam three months down the line because uh, i think that's uh, that's more than enough people always ask me how to manage ward with studies I'm also learning it <laughs> so uh, you have to you know look for rotations that are easy the days uh, one one thing that I uh, advise my juniors is you, you schedule your exam in the months that you know that are easy
desk right beside you so you could visualize uh, everything that you're reading uh, for neuroanatomy um, what I did was uh, I, I did master pass MCQs uh, I'll come back uh, come to it later uh, for neuroanatomy theory, I did uh, Snell's ocular because uh, most of the neuroanatomy is covered in Snell's ocular anatomy, thankfully. Uh, for physiology, I did my John Ferris. You don't have any choice in physiology other than doing John Ferris because that's the only book that gives uh, that gives a thorough review of uh, the, the physiology section that is tested uh, in the ICO Visual Sciences exam. Mm, for all the minor subjects, I did uh, USMLE First Aid. It's a very good book, and uh, you know you don't need to know more than what's written in that book uh, regarding every subject that is tested, other than the than the majors. I hope I've, I haven't missed any major subject. A, a book that I'd like to mention before going is Dr. Nurbakht Nizamani. It's a very very good book. It, it, it's, it's a review book. Uh, and gives a quick review of anatomy and rheology, biochemistry, genetics, everything. Uh, I, I was I was bad at genetics, and that book helped me a lot. Um, I'm really ob obliged to Dr. Nurbacht. Um, right then, uh, coming to the MCQ book, uh, I think. The ultimate book for the MCQs uh, regarding ICO Visual Sciences exam is Master Pass MCQs for uh, ICO Basic Sciences and F FRC Oft. I don't think you need anything more if you have solved that book along with, with its explanations. I think it's a brilliant book uh, and many people believe that you cannot clear ICO without solving Master Pass MCQs and its explanations. Uh, many people suggest that uh, you don't have to do minors separately just do master pass and you're good which means that you don't need to read theory of microbiology genetics epidu uh, epidemiology and uh, embryology you just do master pass and MCQs and get the concepts uh, which, uh, which 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 I did in, in certain subjects but not every minor uh, needs to be done in that in that manner Uh, again, uh, don't 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 uh, uh, don't rate past papers uh, very high because uh, what people do is they do the past papers and forget the main stuff and that is theory and uh, their master pass. Um, just remember the name master pass. It's gonna be your bible right through your preparation. Um, what people do is they they do the anatomy. And then they do master pass section of anatomy. They do physiology from John Ferris, and then they do master pass MCQ of John Ferris, reinforcing the concepts that they've they, that they've read. And uh, I don't think there's much that's going to test it outside of master pass in the theory books that I've uh, mentioned. ICO gives the basic syllabus of uh, what's to be done, and uh, don't study uh, anything outside of that syllabus. It's a very good, uh, very, very good syllabus. One thing I'd like to mention before concluding this video is that this is my personal experience about ICO Visual Sciences. People may differ and people who have cleared this exam might have a different formula. You could devise your own formula and pattern for preparation of this exam. Uh, Again, um, I hope I haven't missed anything. Um, last but not the least, don't rank past papers that high. Do your theory good. Follow the syllabus that, that ICO guys have given on their website. And do master pass and that's it. Uh, you don't need to... Uh, you don't need to... Make a mountain of, uh, out of a molehill. I'm not calling this exam a molehill, but uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, I wish all of all of you best of luck, whoever who is who's gonna aspire for uh, ICU visual sciences and optics and refraction. Uh, best of luck. I'll inshallah make a video on optics uh, after I pass. Thank you.